What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle and today we're doing a couple things. Uh, we're going to be going over, in my opinion, what is a hidden gem in the Unbroken Bond set. Uh, a card that's going to be easily overlooked. Um, also, we're going to start a... This will be the beginning of a new segment in our channel uh, where we are hunting the Rainbow Rare Charizard. Um, However, since this is going to be the first part, we're going to kind of jump started with um, numbering, opening a couple, a uh, number of booster packs. Um, so let's jump into the opening. And guys, before we jump into that opening, I just want to uh, remind everyone why we're hunting for this card or why is this card such a big deal. So the <clears throat> Hyper Rare Charizard, when graded at a PSA 10, um, is actively being sold on eBay for well over $500. So just here's... Um, some of the previous history that a lot of it happened just this month so we have PSA 10s going for over 600 uh, 560 560 640 uh, it's absolutely crazy oh my gosh this one's a thousand is that real um, I'm not sure how that's even possible or why anyone would go that high uh, but I feel like on average oh my gosh this one's 800 um, so obviously this card is super valuable especially as that PSA 10 so we're gonna be hunting for that Alright guys, let's get into this. I was really hesitant about starting this uh, series. Uh, however, just because I thought Burning Shadows print run was kind of ending. Um, however, based on the prices that I've seen for boxes, they are kind of holding steady. So I'm assuming that means that the Pokemon company did another run of them. So supply should last. <clears throat> however, this is definitely by far, when it comes to modern cards, the most sought after single card. So for this opening, we'll start with doing five and then again, basically what we're going to do is all Pokemon videos going forward, we're going to open up an additional pack. Alright, so let's see what we can do. As far as all the things that we're searching for, honestly, like for the Burning Shadow set, again, that, that full Art Guzma, I guess, like is the only, okay, that's good enough. Otherwise, uh, Charizard or Bust. For our first pack, we have a Darkness Energy. I don't remember all the cards in here. Let's see, we got a Weakness Policy, Potown, Rabambi, Wimpod, Meowth, Magikarp, Krogunk, Pikachu, Porygon to Reverse, and then a Beware. Oh, here's a weird one. Alright, let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you guys see that? See something. Pretty shiny. Wondering if it's a little too shiny for. It might be a full art. All right, let's see. We got Sopcles. Here's that way. Crab brawler. Like, it's a crab with boxing gloves. All right, we got a meowth. We got a stuffle. Oh, there's that shine again. Krogunk, Alolan Rattata for the reverse and boom! Oh, <laughs> God. Whew. You know what? That, that would have been almost too quick for the series. Alright, so we came close on our first try, guys. Our second pack. Alright, good start to the series. Alright, will this be the one? Ooh, did I see something else again? Metal Energy, Wishful Baton, Mount Lala, Lana Kila, Wick, Tata, Wimpod, Togemaru, Sock, Mud, Mudbray, Hoot Hoot, and oh. Alright guys, there's something here already. This will be absolutely insane if we hit it right away. Here we go! Oh god, it is the secret rare. Oh man, we're, we're busting everything out a little early for this series, guys. Oh, so we did hit our secret rare. It is not the Charizard. It is ah, actually Choice Band. That's a good one. Very useful card. This is, this is a good way to start this hunt. Although, actually, I'm not crazy about getting already having the secret rare and missing, but definitely very good pulls. <laughs> very good start to the booster box. Let's see if we can. I think we can all agree on that. Let's see. We got a Fairy Energy, Curlia, Olivia. Oh, actually. That this is the one with Gardevoir. It's not. It's not a, like a, you know, a ooh, super sought after card. Oh, there we have Elec Electros, Toxicroak, Reverse. Uh, however, Gardevoir is probably one of my uh, in the top ten. 
Ooh, actually, when I look at these cards from the back, there's a lot of dings in the corners. I'm not happy about that. Soul Rock, Pikachu, Pampor, Cutie Fly, Panseer, Magikarp, a Wimpod Reverse, and then a Turtonator. We got very close in two forms. Like, if you combine the rarity of this card with what this card is, we would have <laughs> struck gold right away. Alright guys, let's talk about another card coming in the Unbroken Bond set. Uh, the next GX card we're going to talk about is actually not a tag team, so it's our first non-tag team card, and it is our fluffy friend, Whimsicott. Uh, Whimsicott is that ram like Pokemon that uh, evolves from a piece of cotton <laughs> um, and this one's pretty unique so it is a fairy type and let's just go over the arts real quick so one thing about the GX is versus the tag team there's no special full art so there's only three uh, with the regular GX the full art and then the hyper rare the rainbow rare uh, so we'll start with the regular rare uh, put that in third place um, to be honest the, the whimsicott like as far as the picture goes, you couldn't even tell if it has limbs or not, so it's not a whole lot to work with, so that one's just okay. Um, however, interestingly enough, I would kind of put the full art with its cool contrasting in colors and kind of makes the card pop. And also the Rainbow Rare is kind of mediocre, you know, not a lot going on, the going not a lot going on there, it's just kind of that rainbow pattern. So it actually put those tied for first place. So let's talk about the Pokemon itself. Uh, important thing to note is that it is a evolution, so it is a stage one, and it evolves from cottony, which cottony uh, itself is about as uh, dangerous as a fly. Um, it's super weak. It's definitely part of its weakness that does have to evolve from it. Um, so let's move on from that. At the <clears throat> so it does come in with 190 HP, which for stage one uh, isn't bad. For GX is not great, but um, it might be sufficient, especially with its ability. Uh, which is Fluffy Cotton, which basically says during your opponent's turn, if you get inflict damage during your opponent's turn um, by attacks during your opponent's turn, flip a coin if heads prevent that damage. So this thing is huge. I feel like this makes this this alone makes this card very viable, uh, <clears throat> and especially when there's a lot of attacks that make you discard energy or comes at a cost or next turn they can't use that same attack. This makes it extra um, extra pow extra powerful in that regard. So in, uh, we'll just hit its GX ability because I don't think it's very good. It's a toy box. Basically, search your deck for up to five cards and add them to your hand. Then shuffle your deck, and that's it. Uh, I think I'm not a big fan of these. There's too many ways that a pony can disrupt your hand, um, like let loose, Marshadow. Uh, too many ways that they can disrupt, basically negate that ability without even using attack. So I don't think that attack's very good for a GX. Um, however, the Energy Blow, which is its only other attack. It only costs one fairy energy, and let's just stop right there. So that means this this card is pretty flexible. I think it is possible to use two different kinds of energy in this if in the deck with Whimsicott. Just all right. So energy blow does 10 base damage plus 30 damage for each energy attached to this Pokemon. So that includes the fairy energies uh, that are used to attack. So by default, it starts at 40. And really important is a new card that's coming in Unbroken Bonds is a triple energy which is absolutely crazy uh, the only downside to it excuse me sorry about that just sneezed um, is that it has to be attached to an evolved Pokemon but that that triple energy that's absolutely insane and it, it works real nicely with Whimsicott so for two energy cards um, at that point you're looking at 130 which still isn't a lot for four energy however um, you know a DCE will do okay I turn that into 100 damage which all in all, it's not a lot of damage, but again, I think Fluffy Cotton makes it viable where 50% of the time, your opponent won't be doing any damage to you at all. Um, so there you guys have it. That's just my quick review of Whimsicott GX. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did enjoy the content, hit that like button below. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, welcome to the community. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications. Other than that, guys, I'm Awana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.